So uh, I was fascinated by the pitch layout of the joist, um, this isomorphic layout and, and the semitones that are adjacent um, in the diagonal going that way. So I was looking at uh, a lot of my favourite bands and singers who use chords that change one note, one semitone at a time. Uh, so David Bowie is a great one for this and uh, that means we can just go through the semitones uh, in each chord in, uh, in this song, Life on Mars, like this. But the film is a sad new bore Cause I wrote it ten times or more It's about to be ripped again As I ask it to focus on sailors fighting in the dance hall so the Beatles do this also in their songs and in Michelle we get this descending semitone line and then the last few chords are all major so we can just use that isomorphic major chord shape and move that around like this. And I will say the only words I know that you'll understand my Michelle. And then starting on the major key, you hear the same trick in uh, in Strawberry Fields, the descending semitone pattern. So apparently um, button accordions use this pitch layout as well because it allows them to learn the melody based on the shape of the buttons and just switch keys using the same shape uh, anywhere on the keyboard. So if we play a, a, a well-known folk tune like uh, Danny Boy uh, using the major scale layout like this. And uh, we're playing with some singer who wants to change key, we can just move that anywhere else on the keyboard and move to a new key. shape all over the keyboard to accompany whoever you're accompanying. 